Here's why most people can't build a personal brand. Most people can't build a personal brand because they are fake on the internet. The person that they are behind closed doors when nobody is watching is not the person that they present themselves as on the internet. There's a disconnect and the audience can smell that you're not being authentic, okay? And I see this a lot from people that are in the corporate space. You know, they're in corporate, they're basically a robot at work. They can't even express their real thoughts or be them real their real self at work, right? And then they get on social media and they try to bring their corporate self to the world of social media. And we don't think that's cool anymore. Like nobody cares about the guy that talks like this. And well, quite frankly, we don't care about that anymore. We want raw, authentic because we know you're doing coke behind closed doors when nobody's watching. We know you watch porn. We know you curse. We know that you have these things that you're doing behind closed doors but you're not bringing that to the forefront on the internet. And the reason why is because in the back of your mind, you're like, dang, I can't really be my real self. I wanna be my, I wanna build a personal brand, but I can't be my real self because what if the people that I work with stumble upon one of my videos and there's a disconnect between the person that they know at the corporate job and the person that they're seeing on the internet. This is why most people can't build a personal brand. This is why most people can't build a real business on the internet, especially when they're the face of the business. So you gotta make a choice. See, building a personal brand is all about being personal, okay? We wanna know what your real personal thoughts are about this subject. We wanna know what you really think about this, this, and this. Who are you really behind closed doors? It's one of the reasons why I take you guys with me in my hiking videos. Why do I do that? Because I'm about to go hike, okay? I'm about to go fish. I'm about to go ride my bike. I'm about to go skateboard. Why? Because that's how I live. I just happen to bring my camera along with me so that you can see what I'm doing. But the fact of the matter is anybody that's met me in real life will tell you that the person that you see on camera is the person that you're gonna meet behind closed doors now for the most part behind closed doors i'm not as animated i'm low i'm laid back but i still have my same raw thoughts i still have my same opinions about this subject this subject and this subject i'm still me behind closed doors okay so you need to have the gonads, even if you're a woman, you need to have the testicular fortitudes to put your real raw authentic self out there and your real tribe will connect with you, okay? That's why I've been constantly working on myself because constantly working on myself allowed me to develop the brand that I now have. It's one of the main reasons why I grew my TikTok audience to 260,000 followers in a short period of time. And that was because I was expressing how I truly felt about certain subjects and people either loved it or hated it. It wasn't really an in-between. The people that loved it, let me know they loved it. The people that hated it, let me know they hated it. Okay. When I first started putting myself out there on the internet, I had thoughts just like you. I'm like, what if people talk crap about me in the comment section? And guess what? I had one video that went viral, and guess what happened? A lot of people talk crap about me in the comment section, and what I found is that it did not matter to me one bit, because I knew that that was how I truly felt about that particular subject in the video. Now, people, who are thinking about the wrong thing is thinking right now, well, what did you say in the video? You're missing the whole point. The point is I expressed what I thought about a certain subject. For instance, here's a controversial one that's not even really controversial to a person like me that's actually thinking, but just because you're black doesn't mean you have to have a victim mentality in America. And there's a lot of people that benefit off of you having a victim mentality. Case in point, if I can convince you to believe that you're oppressed because you have a certain skin color, I can put certain laws in place that seems to be helping you out, 
but really it's making you more dependent and it's making you truly believe that you indeed are a victim. Nobody really likes when I say that. Well, I'll say the wrong people don't like when I say that, but the right people love when I say that. But I'm not saying it for the wrong people or the right people. I'm saying that statement because I truly think that. That's my real thought, believe it or not. And if you ask me on a Sunday, I'm going to tell you the same thing. If you ask me on a Monday, I'm going to tell you the same thing. Another thing was important for me to express is that I'm not a religious man. Why was it important for me to express that when I'm a marketing guy, when I'm an online business guy, when I'm a guy that teaches you how to master your mind and make money online? Why would I talk about the fact that I'm not religious? Because I ain't got time for you to realize that behind closed doors. I'm going to tell it to your face, okay? And you can decide from there whether you like me or not. If you don't like me, it don't matter because I like myself. That's a personal brand because that's how I personally feel about those subjects now you're afraid to say that why are you afraid to say that because you don't know how to deal with people not liking you i've had people not like me my whole life so i got accustomed to it you gotta have enough courage when you really want to build a personal brand you have to have enough courage to express your real thoughts about real things that are going on in the world okay Things that you really are talking about behind closed doors. I'm not talking about riding the waves of certain content simply because that content is going viral. I mean, you can do that too as a strategy, but I'm talking about those secret phone calls that you're having behind closed doors when you're telling people how you really feel about the vaccine, when you're telling people how you really feel about Trump supporters, when you really telling people how you feel about the left or the right. Okay. If you have enough courage to put videos out like that, your brand will start popping overnight, but you won't do it because you got corporate residue on your tonsils. You got corporate residue on your tonsils. So you can't even muster up the courage to fix your face, to say what you really want to say. And guess what? If you did that, more people would buy your merch. More people would buy your clothing. More people would buy your courses. More people would buy your programs. Why? Because you're coming from a real authentic place. If you think about the people that really popped over the last couple of years, I'm talking about the Andrew Tates. I'm talking about the Charleston Whites. I'm talking about the Donald Trumps, okay? I'm talking about the Gary Vaynerchuks. I'm talking about people that really popped over the years with their personal brand they all had strong opinions about certain things and they were not afraid to say what they truly felt and because they said what they truly felt they got people that hated them people that loved them that's a personal brand okay so a lot of people don't like when i'm like i'm not a victim i'm loyal to what makes sense to me i'm addicted to logical thought i'm addicted to data Okay, And so I'm looking for things that make sense to me. I'm looking for information and I'm analyzing that information. And then I give my opinion on a particular subject. If I was loyal to a certain skin color, then that would confine me to a certain way of thinking. And I can't be confined. Hence the terminology that I love to use, free thinking. Okay. Why am I saying all of this? Because I need you to decide whether you love me or hate me. I don't want in-betweeners, okay? Loving me doesn't mean you have to agree with everything I say. Loving you doesn't mean a person has to agree with everything you say. But when you are really speaking your truth, people are going to decide whether they like you or not. Hey, guys, I'm unvaccinated. Never planned on getting it. Don't plan on getting it. You see how good that feels? Now, you're going to have people in the comment section, God dang it, I can't decide if I like this guy or not. I understand what he's saying about this one subject, but I just won't tolerate that unvaccinated stuff. Well, don't tolerate it then, because that's me. That's me. I'm not on any pharmaceutical drugs. Why would I do? So I want you to think about that. That's just the way I live my life. Okay? I'm Natty McPatty. I'm Hobby Lobby Robbie. Okay? I'm Hammer Jack Johnson. Hammer Jack Johnson does not do what the masses are doing simply because the masses are doing 
what the masses are doing. That's my personal brand. Here's how I really feel about this subject. And I'm saying all this to let you know that when you are really building a personal brand, when you really want to stand out, when you really put yourself out there, you got to come from the core, especially in 2023. If you think that you're simply going to give out information and that you're going to build a personal brand, yeah, that might be cool. But as soon as everybody in the entire world comes hip to chat GPT, they can go get information from anywhere. But your emotion that you evict into your brand is what makes you stand out. That's a personal brand. It's Robbie Cornelius encouraging you to master your mind and make money online. And if you're looking to make some money online, download the Web Asset Group app on the App Store or Google Play. Don't stall. Do it today. Master yourself.